Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey Worship Book. The service is taken from the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities and for the concerns of the Iona community. The form of words on some of the slides has been changed to reflect a recent update. The service is interactive and you're invited to join in with the responses. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful to, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let, Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your spirit, spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Renew, Renew us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives the lives, the lives of, of others, others and the, the life, life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Loving God in heaven. 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. O oh God, hear my prayer, be moved by my cry for help. Do not hide your face when I am in dire straits. Listen to my prayer. Be quick to make a response. My days vanish like smoke. My body is almost burnt out. I wither away like grass and forget to take any food. All day I groan out loud. I am nothing but skin and bones. Like a desert owl in waste places, like a lonely bird on the rooftop, I lie awake all alone. My enemies constantly taunt me. In their rage they conspire against me. My bread is ashes, my drink salt tears. You have lifted me up and thrown me aside. Do not leave me with my life half-lived, you whose life lasts forever. Long ago you laid the earth's foundations, the heavens also are the worst of your hands. They will perish, but you endure. Your years will never end. Those who serve you and their descendants will remain in your presence forever. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from St Paul's letter to the Philippians in the third chapter, beginning at verse 13. Brothers and sisters, I don't consider that I have made my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us who are mature think this way. And if in anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. Only let us hold true to what we have attained. Brothers and sisters, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. For many of whom I have often told you, and now tell you even if with tears, walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is their belly, and their glory in their shame, with minds set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we await a Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body, by the power that enables him even to subject all things to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved.
for the word of God in scripture and other well springs of nourishment, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Christ is the world in which we move. Christ are the folk we're summoned to love. Christ is the voice which calls us to care. And Christ is the one who meets us here. To the lost Christ shows his face. To the unloved he gives his embrace, to those who cry in pain or disgrace. Christ makes with his friends a touching place. Feel for the people we most avoid, Strange or bereaved or never employed. Feel for the women and feel for the men who feel that their living is all in vain. To the lost Christ shows his face. To the unloved he gives his embrace. To those who cry in pain or disgrace, Christ makes with his friends a touching place. Feel for the parents who've lost their child. Feel for the woman whom men have defiled. Feel for the baby no breast and feel for the weary who find no rest to the lost Christ shows his face to the unloved he gives his embrace to those who cry in pain or disgrace Christ makes with his friends a touching place. Feel for the lies by life confused, riddled with doubts in loving abused. Feel for the lonely heart conscious of sin, which longs to be pure but fears to begin. To the lost Christ shows his face, to the unloved he gives his embrace, to those who cry in pain or disgrace. Christ makes with his friends a touching place. O Trinity of Love, our model and our friend, you live in love with difference, community and persons, in endless harmony. You seek to help for different folk in different lands and tongues and circumstance that shapes their story and the ways we serve. Our neighbours here today are trafficked children, hungry families, the wounded seeking hope, young men in, boat, young men in boats adrift, disowned and thirsty, driven by fear, then spurned as flotsam but your gift. Help us to see the ones you call us to, flawed like ourselves but holding in their souls
On this day of the week of prayer for world peace, we lift our prayers for those working with courage to improve the world. Today I'm offering a prayer from the Lebanese Maronite tradition. Let us pray.
On the 17th day of this month, we pray for our commitment to social and political action, for justice, peace and the integrity of creation, victims and perpetrators of violence everywhere. And for the following countries, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Australia, Antarctica, Vanuatu, New Caledonia, Kanaka, and Fiji. And we pray for the following members belonging to the family group of Northumbria. Moira Copeland, Fiona Fijun and Lynn, Sarah Moon and Alan, with Owen, Eden and Jenna. Catherine Potts, Jim Robertson and Helen, Louise Taylor Kenyon, and Marion Toy. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in Scotland West. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, you at the last, through wood and nails, crafted our whole salvation. Wield well your tools in the workshop of your world, so that we who come rough hewn to your bench may here be fashioned to a truer beauty of your hand. Amen. In work, rest and worship, God is with us. Gathered and scattered, God is with us. Now, and always. God is with us.